Hi friends, this is Devansh. And in your system, if NATR adapter is missing, then in this video I am going to tell you the methods which can help you to fix this error. So please watch this video completely. Let's begin. So the first method is perform cleanup of the network device. For that, go to the search option and type CMD, and this will open. Now open the command prompt as administrator. Once the once the command prompt get open, you have to type this command: net cfg space dash d so this is the command i will put this command in the description also so that you can copy it from there and paste it in your command prompt now press enter once you press enter it will remove all the network devices so once that is done you have to type exit and come out of the uh, command prompt and after that you have to just go and restart your system so once you restart your system these devices will again get installed in your system Also, you can see in the downside, the Wi-Fi option is not coming anymore. So this shows that device is installed. So the next method is reset the WinSock, and for that you have to use command prompt again. So open the command prompt and again run it as administrator. And this time you have to do, you have to paste this command basically: netsh WinSock reset. So this will reset the WinSock. So what what will happen? Copy this and paste it into the command prompt. I will put this in the description also. After that, once you execute this command, you will get this message: you must restart the computer in order to complete and the reset. So just type exit here, and this will exit it you from the command prompt and go and restart your system. Once you restart your system, go and check that that the device which is which you want to connect is is, is coming or not this time. So use this method. Hopefully this will fix. Now the next method is with the help of the device manager we will try to find out the missing device network device. For that go to the device manager. You use the command used in which I used in the run window. Now once you come here you have to go and go to the view tab. Upside file action view. and four times are there go to the view tab and then click on show hidden devices so the hidden devices will be also get appear in your system now go to the network adapters in network adapters what you have to do select the network adapter you will find it behind the monitor and then go to the action in action you have to click on scan for hardware changes once you click on hard scan for hardware changes after that go to the network adapter and check your device is appearing or not which you which which is missing basically so one check it and if it doesn't work then move for the next method now the next method is try to troubleshoot the network adapters for that go to the settings and in settings you have to go to update and security in update and security what you have to do go to the troubleshoot and in troubleshoot scroll down and you will find the option of the network adapters click on run the troubleshooter to troubleshoot the network adapters at first it will ask us to which device or which network adapters you want to diagnose in here you have to select all network adapters because it will then in this case it will consider all the adapters and click on next it will start detecting the problem this process will take some time for my case there is no problem but in your case if you get some problem try to rectify it and follow the proceed suggest and after that hopefully it will get fixed now the last method is try to automate the service related to the network adapter for that type services in the search option and open it once the service get open you have to go to the wwan config service you will find it downside because this is all arranged in alphabetical order you can see so after that just double click on it open it and make sure that service status should be running if it is not then click on start and startup type should be automatic so this is the basic configuration it should be maintained if it is not maintain this and after that click on apply and click on okay to save this configuration so this is the method by which you will automate the service related to the network adapter after then i think that adapter will start appearing in your system so these are all the methods which can help you to fix the error if any of this method help you please like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching